It's an RBI single for Homer Bush Jr. Homer Bush Jr. Oh my goodness! Homer Bush Jr. I didn't have a ton of offers coming out of high school. I had one other D1 offer and maybe one or two other JUCO offers. It was one of those things where uh, my dad kind of had a connection with Coach Dankowitz and um, he just kind of took a flyer on me, came out to watch me play. I happened to do well. They offered me and I knew immediately that this is where I wanted to be. It was something like super excited for what we're building at GCU. We're going to shock some people over the next three years, three or four years. Anybody could tweet that out whenever they commit to any school, but like I truly felt like I, I really had this feeling that like when I was going to GCU, we're going to be really good. Sometimes you just get that gut feeling that like the decision you made was right. And uh, one of the biggest things for me was kind of getting to see the way that the program was, was going and that it was in such a good direction. And the fact that like, whenever you don't play as a freshman, you're kind of able to grow. Like I grew more my freshman year than I've grown in my whole entire life. Like not playing, I was able to fall in love with the weight room. I was able to fall in love with a lot of the tiny details, which was, was super big. And then knowing we had such a good freshman class, it's like, why would I want to leave a place that, you know, took a flyer on me and gave me an opportunity to, to do something at the division one level. That one ripped by Bush, hit pretty well. Gone, Homer Bush Jr. ties it at 10. With the when you're not playing a lot, you kind of have to be comfortable with not being in the spotlight, you know? So it's like the harder you can grind while you're kind of in the dark, the better you're kind of able to capitalize on the opportunity. Like I wasn't slotted to play a ton, but uh, I just continued to work and then I snuck into the lineup in the nine spot in left field. and. Ever since then, I've you know just taken off. So a lot of that is just behind the scenes work. Talking about my dad's work ethic, he was super talented, but uh, he had to really grind for what he got. He spent I think six years in the minors, which is a pretty long time, and ended up winning you know World Series and you know making a lot of money. So kind of seeing the grind that he had to go through to be successful was huge for me. And then this past summer, I got to compete against a ton of guys at a really high level and I was able to have some success and kind of feeling that success and knowing that I can have success against guys that are as talented as I play that kind of helped me be confident in myself and that's really the biggest thing when it comes to baseball. I feel like in the past I didn't really have an identity as kind of you know a hitter and a baseball player so for me I really wanted to use kind of some of my bat to ball skills and speed and stuff like that and make an impact on the game that way. I feel like a lot of times there's pressure. You check Twitter and you got dudes in 500 feet home runs and you want to do the same, but realistically the best thing I can do is be myself and I feel like I've done that at a really high level this year and so you combine that with just some of the maturity and confidence and coaching I've gained over the past year has led to a lot of success. Center fielder, number 34, Homer Bush, Jr. One of the things that I'm lucky enough that baseball has provided me with is a platform. So being a black baseball player, there's not a ton of people for you to look up to. Luckily, I have my dad to look up to, but there's a whole generation of people out there who don't have you know, a dad who played professional baseball to look up to. So if I could find myself in a role like that for a community, I think that would be awesome. So just being an awesome person alongside being an awesome baseball player is super important for my development over the next you know, decade or so.